Hey, Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Bo. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Have you heard about Anchor? You mean that big, heavy thing that you throw off the side of a boat? No, silly. The podcast app that helps you distribute your podcast episodes to a bunch of major websites. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah, it's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Ooh, I love less work. That sounds fantastic. And you can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Ooh, I also love to make money. Yeah, so just download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Do it. Do it. Precisely. Two best buds. Precisely. Drinking beer and talking about stuff. Precisely. Bo and Tony, precisely. Playing and reviewing games, precisely. How's it going, everyone? This is Precisely Podcast number seven. Number seven, guys. How are you, Tony? Good. How are you, Bo? I am doing well, and we have a special guest on, Kelly, at Highway to Cal. Yo, yo, yo. How's how's everything with you, Kelly? Oh, it's just, it's fantastic. That's amazing. We are excited to have you on to Precisely. I am precisely excited to be here. <laughs> I am precisely excited that you are here. So, let's get into the beer, because that's what we do best here. We have a huge variety today. Huge variety. Shout out to Mr. Hooks for hooking it up with a bunch of Vermont beer. Is that his actual name, or it's at, that, that's at, his Instagram yeah. handle? Instagram handle. Does he have hooks for hands? Because it sounds <laughs> no. like he does. <laughs> no, but that would be cool. That would be awesome. Especially if he had one hook. No, Even his uh, his name's Ian Hooker. Oh, He's nice. not a hooker. That's just his last name. Okay. Well, thank Good you, guy. Mr. Yeah. Hooks. <laughs> <laughs> so we started off with one of his favorites. It's a Focal Banger by The Alchemist. It weighs in at a 7%. It says, drink from the can, drink from the can, with ex- exclamation marks around it. But we are drinking it in a glass so we can all share it. So what do you guys think? Have you tried it? No, I didn't try it. I'm about we'll try to. It. Try it. Let us know. It has a uh, 4.5 rating out of 5. That's really good. So 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Sounds even better. Well, it smells really good. I like that smell. It's very fresh. Yum. Yeah, it's good. This is like my favorite beer that I've had on the podcast. Yeah, this is good. I don't think it's that special, honestly. <laughs> but It's a New England IPA. Yeah. It's a good, clean, refreshing taste. Definitely clean. I would probably take a bath in it. So the back of the can says, This beer is brewed using Citra Mosaic hops and our favorite British malts. Truly an abundance of hoppy goodness. Fre- freshness and control have always been my main concern when it comes to our beer. We are committed to providing you with an unfiltered and unpasteurized hop experience. Why do I recommend that you drink it from the can? Quite simply, to ensure a delightful hop experience. The act of pouring it in a glass smells nice, but it releases the essential hop aromas that we have worked so hard to retain. If you must pour it into a glass, you may find that some of the hop resins have settled on the bottom. Leave them in the can while pouring. This beer is perishable and at its best when it is young, fresh, and hazy. Keep it cold, but not ice cold. Drink this beer today. You could be dead tomorrow. I like that ending. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, let's talk video games. Or do you want to talk topics? Oh, let's do some video games. Okay. What have uh, you been playing? I'm still stuck in God of War. Yeah. Um, I'm not stuck, but I'm just... You were a little stuck when I over came over yesterday. Yeah, but I figured it out. I helped you, though. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Um, so that, I tried Tetris 99. Not impressed. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I grew out of Tetris when I was like six years old. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody grows out of Tetris. Except me. I guess. What I are you know. playing? A lot of Tetris 99, actually. I am in love with it. I am addicted to it. I played it the other day for the first time and literally played it until my Switch battery almost died. I was like, okay, I need to charge this. I was playing it in handheld mode, which to me is the best way to play it. I mean, you can zone out 
like listening to a TV show while playing the game, and I got up to fifth or sixth place. And it felt damn good. And that's why I like it, Tony. And that's probably why you don't like it, because you suck yeah, cause at I'm Tetris. Yeah, because I'm in, like, 76th place. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Well, and I was surprised I got that. At least well. you're not 99th place. Yeah. Because if you're having a bad day, think about the people that are 99th in Tetris 99. You fucking suck. You probably shouldn't own a Switch. Stop with video gaming and jump off a bridge. Or you know what? Let's be positive. <laughs> They, you got to practice to get better, so. Yeah, don't, but if you're... Don't kill yourself, you just are, keep playing. If you are 99th, like, you need to reevaluate your life. No, you just have to play a little bit more. Or I, don't play Tetris. I hope you're sucks. blind if you're 99th. This has been Real Talk with Bo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I can be an asshole. <laughs> it's all right. Um. So, yeah, loving Tetris 99. You know how I mentioned Strider 2 on the last podcast? I picked that up. I got that in the mail and didn't really know what to expect with it. It's an arcade-like, uh, fast pace, beat em up, and it's so much fun. I literally went through the game and beat it in less than a half an hour. Did I do good? No. It ranks you, essentially, how fast you beat it, how many times you died, all that. Um, so I was rank E. Not good. But then I unlocked a new character that is more powerful. Um, So I went back with it and played it through again and was getting, like, rank D. So in that sense, like, I improved, but it's definitely a game that you can beat it in a half an hour. There's multiple levels. Each level is, like, two minutes long, and you just, I guess, try not to die at all to get a better ranking and try to beat each level in, like, 30 seconds, I guess. Literally, you're running through levels just killing things. It's, right on. It's a lot of fun. It's a 2D side-scroller beat em up How about you, Kelly? Um, I've got a pretty heavy rotation of stuff. I don't just stick to one. Well, let's, <laughs> let's hear, hear it. Let's yeah. dive um, in. Here we go. Uh, let's crack open a book. Um, <laughs> so I just – my all my time was in uh, Kingdom Hearts three, and I just finished that last night at like one in the morning. Congratulations! So, thank you. Um, feels good. Glad to be here. I'd like to thank the Academy. Um, <laughs> I uh, I sunk so much time into that. Like my whole day today has just been at that point when you finish a game and you're sitting there and you're like, oh god, what am I gonna do next? Yeah, like, <laughs> that's so that's where I was sitting, and I was like, oh no, I have to go and talk about like what I'm gonna do with like video gaming. What am I gonna say? And uh, <laughs> here i am like having an existential video game crisis about what to play next um yeah. and that that to me is like one of the hardest parts is playing a game being so invested into a game putting your whole time heart energy into it and then it's over and you're like i can't get a better game than this you know because you loved it that much and obviously you loved it if you beat it already um yeah i mean it was the same thing for me with like breath of the wild or wind waker uh you know beating those games i'm like what the hell do i play and you (laughs) you start thinking about the other games that you beat and you're like should i go back to one of those games that made me feel like this you know but there's a lot of games out there yeah um so yeah i i didn't 100 percent it yet so i do want to go back and like get all the lucky emblems and like all the chests and stuff i got a good amount of it on the first like just like run through of it without going back and like looking for stuff per se and just like playing straight through the story so that's definitely going to be still on the docket um i play a lot of like uh multiplayer and stuff during the week when i don't have a lot of time after work i play a lot of overwatch so that's always running how is that like nowadays because that i mean that's an old older game so yeah i've actually been playing it for like probably i got it a couple months after it came out so almost the entirety of the life of the game right now and you know there's ups and downs with every multiplayer online game and stuff like that you know like there's the good parts everybody's going to talk about like oh i'm back when this hero was you know had this ability and you know wasn't buffed or nerfed or whatever the case may be with whatever they needed and now, like, I, I, it's just fun to get on and, like, play a couple rounds. Like, I can sink, like, an hour into it. I can sink two hours into it. And at no time do I feel like I'm invested. Like, okay, I've got to play through this to get to this part before I can be done tonight. I can just be like, oh, I got to go. I got to call it. 
I can be done and I can just hang it up, yeah. which is nice. Like I like that. And that's, you know, like something I've always liked having in my back pocket. Like, you know, absolutely. Back when, uh, like black ops and stuff was out, like when I was in college and things like that, you know, it was good to just sit there and be like, Oh, I can do a couple of rounds online before I go to class, you know, mm. because I don't have that much time. So that's what I do during the week. I love playing that. Like, it's just fun, you know, but I know some people don't like <laughs> don't like it, but I haven't had a game keep my attention for that long that doesn't have a campaign. So that's definitely saying something oh, about that I didn't that realize game. there wasn't a campaign. No, there's no campaign. The, all the lore is like online, like comic books and stuff. It's Okay. It's weird, but And it's it's a game that the makers, it's Blizzard, right? Yeah, it's Blizzard. Um they keep updating it, right? So, yeah. So are they making new levels for it's, it? Yeah. So actually, they just released a new level. Um, they have a Paris map out now. So each map, you know, you play at, they put a different, like, one out every once in a while. I don't know their time frame of it. But um, they just put Paris out this week. They come out with new heroes every once in a while. So, like, you have probably, like, five or six of each different kind, like, you know, DPS and tanks and supports and all that stuff so you have a dps so basically like run and gun shooting like going in and that would be me yeah (laughs) so what's a tank then um the person that just like can take all the damage and just like you could either have like a shield or you're Uh. just like holding down like it's like a lot of it's like capture the flag or capture a a payload so you're pushing a, a cart of stuff down through a map and you have to keep control of it so you need somebody who can stay on that point Okay. And keep control of it. So you need somebody with a lot of health, somebody with shields to shield your team. It's a lot of team comp stuff. And, like, I have a good group of friends that I play with. So it's a six-person six, six person team versus six-person team. So if you, we have a good, you know, amount of people. So at any point in time, we have, like, four to six people. So if you're working together already, like, it's easy for you to come in and be like all right well we can do this whereas if you're playing with random people sometimes they're not as nice and they won't make a well-balanced team and then you get frustrated and people throw the game and whatever but <laughs> it sounds interesting it's, have you ever played Tony? it's fun no i've never played it but it sounds really uh strategic i guess and you definitely would want like a nice tight uh group to play with you know yeah it makes or breaks honestly a lot of it um a lot of people i know that didn't like it is because they didn't have some like some amount of people to play with. like if you're playing yeah. with yourself like if you're playing by yourself like it's gonna be frustrating because you're gonna get random people all the time and a lot of people don't have mics or you know won't communicate it's a effectively game that you need mics yes for. It, yeah. it pretty much is or like people you know then there are people who just like shout things it's it's basically <laughs> like the worst of call of duty <laughs> like oh, if you no. like you remember that like <laughs> that does not being sound by like yourself fun. like you could just i just remember that like just Oh, yeah. terrible people being terrible on mic chats to you and just being like you're garbage you're garbage that and was like, me <laughs> definitely yeah. that was no me. shame he's like calling himself out no shame i suck at tetris and i'm gonna make you feel bad <laughs> he's on he's on tetris 99 chat like oh man screw you guys wait can you do the nintendo switch chat I have no idea with tetris 99 no you idea. can't do it for are you gonna talk to the either. blocks or like no well, talk to the 99 that would people. be a mess <laughs> that would be insane i would just bump like techno oh music yeah i don't time. even want to try that oh you'd be that person in the lobby mm-hmm. who's queuing up they've got their their skrillex going <laughs> yep not skrillex but yeah something yeah. else <laughs> oh my god that rude uh oh my sandstorm. god yeah Oh. Yeah, sandstorm the whole time. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. Um, oh. What else have you been playing? Um, so uh, another on- online multiplayer. I play a little bit of Sea of Thieves, which is actually pretty fun. Um, you don't have Xbox, you do PlayStation, no. but that's an Xbox exclusive. It's pretty like it's just. I don't know. You just get to be a pirate and sail around and do pirate stuff, which is just cool in itself. Yeah, I love pirates. So, that sounds cool. <laughs> so it's fun. Again, that's also something that's fun if you have like a group of four to play with and um, just kind of like explore the open sea and like go look for treasure. It's just it literally is just you fulfilling any kind of pirate fantasy you ever had are there mermaids <laughs> yes okay. there's like kraken yeah, there's like mermaids, mermaids. Yeah, yeah we know you like mermaids, <laughs> mermaid they, s- they save your life oh <laughs> uh, really because yeah. i guess they used to be uh they would like kill sailors right that was mm-hmm. the myth yeah yep yep they would draw you into the sea and then you would drown yeah 
Yeah, fun stuff. So I actually heard that Sea of Thieves had like an update where you had to delete it and reinstall the whole thing. Have well, you done that? Uh, nope, that didn't happen to me. So uh, all right. <laughs> false news. I don't know. Um, that Maybe. Did, that didn't happen know. to me. So I don't know if it happened to somebody else. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> well, no, it but, was like the company said like, uh, hey, you got to. Hmm. I haven't had any it. issues with it. I don't, I don't play like a lot. I'll play it like maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks and I don't have any issues with it. Okay. But um, yeah, so that's like that's in my like rotation during the week of just like if I have time to just pop on in the evenings after work to play something. Um, do you have a PlayStation 4? I do, but I don't pay for the PS uh the PSN stuff because I do Xbox Live cuz most of the people I game with have Xbox. Okay. So I just can't justify paying for two different subscription services. Like, yeah. For the same thing. And I'm such basically. a one player like RPG mm-hmm. player that I for some reason I bought the PSN um network subscription because for of Red, Red Dead, Dead. Yeah. online. I think I told Tony to buy it too. Yeah, so we both bought it. How many times did we play it? Once, yeah. once or twice, yeah. yeah, and I regret it. Yeah, I don't. I don't even download the free games. Like I never even think about it. Did you know? I that? didn't know there was free games. Oh yeah, every uh, month you know. there's new free games. Oh, yeah. really? and knowing so is check. half the battle. Yeah, <laughs> Tetris ninety nine for PlayStation four. No. Just what I want another Tetris <laughs> game to not play. <laughs> well, now mm. I know that that was a lousy gift for you. For yeah, I still have a. Sealed inbox Tetris effect. effect. Yep. So awesome. if anyone wants that, hit me up. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. That was a gift. Ooh. Screw Ouch. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, let's see. Um, on my weekends, when I have some more time, I'll play more of like my retro stuff, um, or like more of the. I've been playing a lot of Switch stuff too. So like. What's the, your favorite game for the Switch? <sighs> I've been really, I, you know this, but I've been really just digging that Katamari. Like oh, yeah. I've been on that. I've been rolling so on that good. for a while. Um, so good. It's fantastic. It's just such a great game, and then having it on the Switch is just so much, uh, so much fun. But I've been, I've been playing that a lot. Um, and I, uh, I'm working on the new Super Mario. How do you like um, that deluxe? I mean, it, it's the port. Yeah. You know, I had it on Wii U, so it's I'm no stranger to it, but I love Mario games in in the simplest terms, like, you know, go through world by world, go through level by level and beat each and get to your castles and I just I love that format. So, I like it. It just seemed way too simple for me. Yeah. I I It seemed yeah. like a Super Mario run like for the mm-hmm. cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that, but I mean, at the same time, like they have to market some of that <clears throat> Mario stuff to. They don't you know, have to. <laughs> they don't have to. They don't have to. It's like no, screw the children. They um, have Kirby games I, for that. <laughs> they have Yoshi games for that. They do not need to do that to Mario. <laughs> don't be so greedy, man. Let them have Mario if they want it. The children I need, need Mario. Mario. <laughs> the children I want need Mario. Mario. Come on. They do, but seriously, like make a hard mode or something. And I and I also heard that the Luigi game is. A little bit harder than the yeah Mario the game. Luigi game is a little harder but then they also made like those characters that you could switch out so it's super easy I guess there's your kid mode but I yeah I it's can see easy it. with Mario All it, right. it was so All right. simple hardcore gamer bow I don't know you heard I like here. a challenge <laughs> jump off a bridge <laughs> <laughs> seriously I want to meet someone that got 99th place that was actually trying uh, <laughs> And then I'd be like, no, nah. I'd just walk away from him. Spit on the shoes. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I pulled out my Switch today, though. Like, handheld mode, and I haven't done that for a while. It felt great. I realized, like, why wow, I like it so much. That's all I play it in is handheld mode. Yeah. yeah. I swear, that's it. Like, it's Mine just... hasn't been hooked up in, since yeah. we've yeah, been you to lost Baltimore. Your cord or what? No, I found it today. Oh, okay. It, it was on my table downstairs. Okay. It's just yeah. so easy to put like something on the TV and then just sit and play and lose yourself in a game and yeah. have something on the background or like if somebody else is doing something and you need to play a game because you're you know just fiending for it. you got the itch yeah got the itch you I can just go ahead itch. and sit there while they have the television and you got your switch yep. and you're good to go. That's how but, my wife and I do it. Yeah, she'll watch her shows. I'll just play handheld. Good. Yep. 
but yeah i've also i've also done some tetris 99 as we've talked about it um a little bit before we started up i'll like i like tetris but i'll get like mid i'll place like mid of the match so like 50s 60s (coughs) you know somewhere in there and then i'll i'll play another game like oh i can do better than that and i'll place at the same number or like one away or something like that and i'll do that for like five matches and i'll be like well this is dumb yeah and i'll stop and i'll come back like a couple hours later like let's try this again (laughs) but it's just like if i don't see any immediate gratification i'm like i'm done so and i think i think it's fun but that's like the addicting part about it yeah if you keep getting better you just want to keep playing yeah i got up to fifth or sixth place and then i got like 20th place i was like all right now i'm done like i don't if i can't do better right away then I don't want to play it. But that's me being competitive. Yeah, I think it's just I just get frustrated when I sit at the same spot and I don't see any increase or decrease. I'm just sitting yeah. at the same spot and I'm like, well, all right, I'm not doing any. I'm just, I don't know. You're just. I'm sitting there. Staying I'm stagnant. Place. I don't want to be stagnant. No, nobody does. <laughs> it's like lukewarm water. Yeah, Unless I am I'm just lukewarm anything. Tetris right now and oh I want to be boiling. <laughs> So I'm going to ask you similar questions to what I asked our guest last week, Tyler. Tyler. What up, Tyler? Shout out to you. We loved you. But uh, anyway, what's the first game you remember playing? The first game I remember playing, and I don't know what year it is. I don't know. Like I, I remember I was like probably early elementary school, so I'm assuming like five or six. I went out and I was visiting some family in uh, in California, and um, we were out and we went to my aunt and uncle's neighbor's house. And I didn't know anyone, and you know you're like six, and they parents just throw you in a room with a bunch of other kids, like have a good time. My sister and I are in there, like, all right, cool. Um, I don't know any of these children. Yeah. Also, I'm like three thousand miles from my house. And there was an NES set up. And I remember, like, sitting and watching all these kids take turns playing Duck Hunt. And, like, playing Duck Hunt. And I, like, got in on a round. And I had never played Duck Hunt before. I'd never played anything. I just remember being like, wow. Just, like, sitting there watching it and playing a couple rounds of it. And uh, That's such a great starter game for it was. It was a good, like... I just remember like watching it happen and like even though I wasn't playing it it was I was invested in like watching it cuz you could see them like moving their arm and like mm-hmm. where they were going to shoot and so that's the first game I remember playing and it's a great game. Have yeah. you ever played Duck Hunt Tony? I think I played Duck Hunt before but not uh well I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I definitely know what it is. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Hopefully there's a the little dog. Yeah, there is a or dog, maybe yeah. it's not little, but yeah, yeah, he, regular size dog. Up, yeah. yeah, a yeah. bloodhound. And then there's ducks, and you shoot them. Yeah, he riles up the ducks. And then yeah, pop. Yeah. yeah, it's like real life. Yeah. <laughs> if you like miss all the ducks. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, cool. what's uh? You're a big collector. I follow you on Instagram at oh really at uh highway to Cal. So you know, I always <laughs> thought it was highway toke L. <laughs> like like you're a token on something on the highway Dude, and I never you're a little spanish yeah oh my god well That's i say an, things weird he all has the time. a hard time like oh breaking down instagram names i mean i do too but i never broke my own into that format i was just i remember sitting there like okay what play on words can i make from my name for an instagram handle yeah slash a Twitter handle slash whatever other handle I ever needed. And I had a, a, a like a ne- a sheet of notebook paper and I wrote out every possible pun with my name in it and was like going through it. And it's like, all right, let's see if this works. Um, taken. Also, it doesn't sound that great. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> so I finally oh, settled I on get it. that. Highway to hell. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you uh, serious? Welcome to 2019. <laughs> We are here. What up? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Oh, I there was a big gust of air that just went over his head, and we well, are indoors with the windows closed. <laughs> well, granted, I always thought it was highway toke out. Right, and yeah. and that I never even broke it yeah. that way. I was always like, okay, that, obviously, what would that even mean? obviously, he's he was You're thinking I highway, was toking on the highway with a Spanish guy named L. Yep, that makes perfect <laughs> sense for me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Whatever. Yeah. All right. So back to the question. <laughs> I don't know. Are we down? just going <laughs> to Now that like... we've broken down my Instagram <laughs> handle formatting and all that. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it more so now that I know what it is. <laughs> it's funny. I think it's funnier how I said it, though. Yeah, now, now that's like one of those things I can't unhear. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Yep. So what's your favorite thing that you collect? Because you're a huge collector. I think I know what it is. Yeah, you probably do. Um, but let, let's let the listeners know. All right, listeners. If you don't know me or if you've never seen my Instagram, which is cool, uh, I'm a large uh, Game Boy collector. Probably the biggest Game Boy collector I know. I will take that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I definitely follow some way more <laughs> bigger collectors, okay, but yeah, they personally you're the biggest yeah, okay. one that I know. Yeah, you guys are hashtag goals. Um, but yeah, Game Boy is my thing. Um, the the Game Boy Color was my first video game system, anything that I ever had. So awesome! It has a little special place in my heart, and it's always been like my go-to and like i said i i really enjoy playing things handheld mode like yep. can do other stuff can watch things can listen to music you can go places i can go too. place i can yeah. sit and outside like i sit in my hammock outside and i play Ooh. all the time like the game boy is just so versatile and it's just it's my favorite thing to collect and my favorite thing to play so that is so why what? i do it what color was your first Game Boy color? I had the uh, teal version. Nice, good and color. Uh, I got it for Christmas when I was uh, probably not far after that duck hunt uh, encounter. I oh, got wow. yeah, a couple years maybe, uh, one or two years. Got it for Christmas from Santa. Shout out to you, Santa. What up, um, Santa? <laughs> my man's always hooking me up. See, um, I wonder how Santa comes to my house because I don't have a fireplace. Uh, he just like creeps in through the cracks in your door. Get out of my house, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna he's gonna bring you teal Game Boys. You're not welcome. You're gonna Santa. want him in here. <laughs> um, yeah, I got that, and a copy of uh, Pokemon Red was my very first Hell game. Oh yeah. So uh, I that was, and I still have both of those things to this day. That's the awesome. Originals, well, so. Do you have the box with it too? No, the box uh, probably long gone. Probably were trashed on Christmas Day after Why I ripped them open like an animal because uh, I was six. Oh no, I'm saying like yeah, in yes, general. Yes. Why did we all throw away our? Oh boxes? yeah, I sit here and I'm like, God, I just wish I would have. I kept the manuals though. Like oh, I still nice. have the original okay. manuals because I used to stick them in my my Game Boy bag just in case you know I needed yeah. to know what was going on. I could just pull it right out and be like, ah, let me check out what's happening here trusty manual <laughs> but let me uh learn how to power this on and which direction the double <laughs> a batteries go in yeah that was a struggle there for oh, a while oh and that's how you put the battery pack what back does in. the okay. a button do what does it do everyone needs to know dude that was a huge struggle though always having to carry extra batteries with you oh i had like I'd a four pack all the time yeah. just right right and in the pocket like you knew your batteries were getting low, you would constantly save your game. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, like, the advent of the Game Boy Advance when they came out, I remember this like to the day. My friend got one, and we were sitting around. And I still had my Game Boy Color, and he had the Game Boy Advance. All of a sudden, his batteries got low, and that light changed from green to red. I was yep. like, "Holy oh, shit!" Yeah, like, yep. <laughs> Yep. We have a game changer. But I would still farm it out and see like oh yeah how, how far I could go. Oh yeah, just push batteries. your limits. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. But like you at least had a telltale sign like, "Ooh, I better get that four pack out and get ready here." Like, <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> gotta save, gotta save. Yep. So, with your uh Game Boy collection, how many uh Game Boy colors do you have? How many colors were so, made? So, so many. Like I okay, so I'm not I'm terrible with our, all the numbers, and like there are going to be people who are going to be like, "Well, yeah. but screw them." Yeah, um, I, I they're can the 99th t- players that get out. Yeah, Tetris all right, 99. all right, Tetris 99ers. Um, I can tell you that I have all the main colors, so the pink, 
the teal, the green. Atomic purple. Atomic purple, yellow, a regular purple. And then, uh, so I also have the the Tommy Hilfiger one. What up, Tommy? That's my favorite one. Tommy, is it really? Tommy. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Wait, didn't you talk about this the other yeah. last one? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I, I thought. Um, yeah, so the Tommy Hilfiger one I actually got for a pretty good deal, but it has this major scratch on the screen, which is kind of a bummer. But at the same time, like I can replace it, and also I got it for a good deal, so I'm not super concerned. What did you pay for it? Like thirty bucks. Yeah, I would have bought it too. And it, it had like one of those giant ass. This is a different beer. One of those giant ass, like big, uh, like magnifying screens and like button razors. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, yeah. All this stuff like coming off of it, and I was like, all right, for thirty dollars, yes, oh, yeah, I'll take that. Definitely. So somebody obviously priced it at the store like they were pricing a yellow Game Boy, and didn't realize that that little Tommy flag meant a little bit more. Yeah, no so. doubt. So, what's the rarest Game Boy? Game Boy color or what? I guess any Game Boy. Oh, we're talking. Or Game there's Boy. Both. Do both. Lot. Just Game Boy color and we're then the well, rarest one. So, in there's general. like a lot. Japanese exclusives. Uh, yeah, there's like, I was going to say, there's a bunch of those Japanese ones. There's like the Game Boy Pockets, like the light ones, all those that came out. Mm-hmm. There's like the, uh, the Manchester Football Club Game Boy. That one's pretty. Oh. That was like Pretty. only in the UK or Australia. Yeah, there's like all these exclusive releases that like. Yeah, I had no idea. Like, it's like region. it's nuts. And then like we're talking like five hundred to a thousand bucks for a single yeah. Game Boy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. they're wild. Yeah. And it's like uh, a lot of those. Like there's like a Australian one for the Game Boy Color. It's does like, it have a little pouch on it? <laughs> it's got a little kangaroo that I actually like that. comes out <laughs> of the box and gives you the Game Boy. Wow. Itself. <laughs> I, like I want that. that. Yep. No, honestly, I think what it's just like green and yellow. Or yeah, something. it's like green and yellow. Does yeah. it have the flag Is on that it or Australian? something? Green and yellow. Uh, it can be. I, sure. I don't know. I, sorry, Australia. Those are the colors of kangaroos. No, I'm not. When they're they're firstborn. Uh, Definitely not. Whatever. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen a kangaroo? Yeah. Okay. I saw a kangaroo put another kangaroo in a headlock the other day. That shit was crazy. Like on the street or like? No, no. <laughs> Cause on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, insane. They're like humans, but stronger. No, they're kangaroos, bro. They're marsupials. I would not want to be in a fight with a kangaroo. Definitely not. What is a marsupial? An animal with a pouch. Yeah. Here you pour it if you can. What do we got here? Yeah. What do we have here? Uh, Alina. Alina. I dated a girl named Alina one time. Oh yeah. Yeah. American Obviously IPA. that didn't work out. Nope. She was nice though. <laughs> Shout out to you, Alina. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to ex girlfriends. Um. <laughs> Do you have this beer up, Tony? Yeah. Tell us about it. Uh, it got an eight point four rating. What's the percent on it? It is seven point seven. Okay. And it's an American IPA. From Vermont. Yeah, Vermont. What brewery? Alchemist. Oh, okay. Awesome. American so what do you guys IPA. Think? It's red, white, and blue. It has uh, stars and stripes. And there's a couple in, eagles circling in the, the yeah, glass. Yep. Uh, it looks some nothing like that. AK-47s <laughs> coming out of it. Yeah. Y'all are liars. I like this one better than the other one. I don't know. I think I like the first one better. No, I like the first one better. Well, you this guys have bad taste. This one. <laughs> <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> this one has more bitters to it more it's more hot yeah, i thought the other one was more bitter no no definitely not that was fruity and nice it's good it's smooth i mean this is still smooth it's I just like this a little i don't bit like more the, i don't like the aftertaste of this one it's still yeah. solid i'd still but drink having it. the first one first so much better mm. hey we all have different taste buds so that's, that's right. a cool thing you know so let's talk more about game boys yes, probably let's. like one of my rarest game boys would be uh the extreme green Game Boy Pocket. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Which, it's not that rare, mm-hmm. but it's rarer than, like, the solid colors and stuff. Mm-hmm. Was that the one next to the Tommy Hilfiger Game Boy? Yeah. Mm, yes. It's, no. It's, no. like, underneath it. Okay. Yeah. It's laying down. Yeah, it's laying down. Yeah. That's cool. And they had they made, like, a Pikachu one. Like, mm-hmm. the... like the. Yeah, 64. I have one of those. Yeah. That yeah. looks like the Tommy Hilfiger one. Yeah, I have that one, but I'm, like, I got it, and I was, like... 99.9% sure it's a reshell 
but I got it like on the low, so I in like a bundle. So I just kept it until I get a real one. <laughs> yeah. So I think I had the purple one first, the Game Boy Color. Yeah. The, that, that the regular was mine, or the, the atomic? The atomic. Is, what's the atomic mean? Is the that clear? See-through? Yeah. Yeah. No, I just had the regular one. Yeah. Uh, the atomic was where it was at. Yeah, that was my first Game Boy Color. And I atomic don't. or right. Atomic purple. Okay. Yeah, see through purple. Why they called it atomic, I don't know. Especially Sounds with the N sixty four is being fantastic. But but if you look at the atomic purple N sixty four controller, it's the same uh it's the same color as the uh, atomic purple Game Boy color. Like they called it that. But isn't it fantastic? No, because that one didn't have the corresponding system. It was just the controller. It was just that light purple oh, controller. Oh, you're right. Okay. And they yep, called yep. it atomic purple. Yep, yep. And I had that N64 as well, where it came with the, the, the purple and the gray. The purple the gray. and the gray console, yeah. 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 You always thought that was special when you had the, mm-hmm. that purple controller that was always player number one, and then player number two got the gray controller. And your stick's Maybe all yeah. messed up. and Yeah. It's also Mad Cats. and <laughs> Yeah. Lots of Mad Cats. <laughs> the worst and there's cheese doodles ever. all over it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> knockoff controllers. Shout out to you knockoff, knockoff controllers. <laughs> knockout. Yeah, sorry to every player too ever. What's the best video game controller you guys think? Ever? Like yeah, in your opinion obviously, but ever. Yeah, of all time. Oh. Uh probably PlayStation. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the the DualShock 2. That was Really? Just I mean, choice. they they kept it near the end of PlayStation 1 and it's always been the same since. I mean, they've added other features like the touchpad on the PS4. And it being wireless mm-hmm. and the light, which they didn't really need the light, but that was for the VR headset, and that's why they started doing that. Oh, uh, okay. Um, just so you can, so the camera can see the controller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my dog is wagging his tail like crazy, and it is bothering me so much. But I love him because he's cute. You need to lay down, Boomer. Shout out to you, Boomer. Shout out to you, Booms. But seriously. He's Stop. a good boy, <laughs> but he just he just wants to be in on it. He just wants to tell his piece. What's the worst controller? GameCube N sixty four. Yeah, I no GameCube is amazing. I love the GameCube. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The regular N sixty four controller. I'm gonna have to agree. As much as I love the N sixty four, that controller is horrendous and always will be. <laughs> yeah. Um. Al- also, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I would say, like. The Sega Genesis wasn't the greatest, but... It, no, I don't like that one that much. Like, there's, like, three extra buttons on some of the controllers mm-hmm. that you don't really need for any game. Except, like, Street Fighter or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. Otherwise, you're just wasting buttons. The Switch Pro controller... Actually, no, I take it all back. Fuck the Wii. The Wii controller is the worst. Whoa. I, it is. That little fucking stick, dude. Oh, I okay. hate it. <laughs> so here's the thing, though. Depending on the game that you're playing, yes. you're switching it up. But... Whenever I played the Wii, I never, like, I I can see what you're saying. Like, I never played it with just the Wii mode. Like, I would always have the nunchuck on, or I would always plug it into yeah. something else, because I, I never that. wanted to play it with just the stick. So. I had the Pro Controller for the Wii, and you saw how to plug that into yeah. the nunchuck. Yep. So dumb. So dumb. Thank God we are not in the Wii uh, lifespan right now, and we're onto the Switch. And the Wii U. I mean, that was... Sort of dumb, too. I mean... I like the gamepad, but, like, the yeah. Pro Controller, not that comfy. Yeah, the the gamepad was basically exactly what I wanted before the Switch happened. Yes. And so, whenever I played my Wii U, I would only play it on the gamepad. So, it was basically the Switch before the Switch. And yeah. that's all I did. And once the Switch came out, I just have neglected it since. So, shout out to you, Wii U. For- I'm about to get a Wii U kiosk next weekend. So I think I will be playing some Wii U. And I actually plan on collecting more for it because the games are super cheap right now. I think they're going to increase in value um, just because it wasn't a sought-after system. It's not a big set to go for either if you're going to do a set. How many? Two-something. It's really not, I think. It's really not a lot. See, I'm just not a full set person. I'm all about... Oh, I know that people like like people were going for it just because it was small, and yeah. then also on the fact that like oh well maybe this will increase or whatever. Do you think it will? I don't think it will. 
I don't know. I think it's going to stagnate for like a couple years. And then yeah. maybe when we start looking back, uh, like if we're in like 10, 15 years from now, we might see a little increase just because it was so short lived. But I think for the next couple of years, it's going to be dirt cheap and like. I mean, there's some games it. that are pricey on it, like the Hello Kitty one. Yeah. But even that just got a re release and it took a little dip. Oh, uh, well, that makes so, sense. Like, e- like, that's what I'm saying. All these games are being ported to the Switch. So all the games are, even the most expensive ones, aren't even going to be that expensive because of these ports are coming out. The people who really wanted to play it are yeah. going to buy it for Switch instead. Absolutely. And the people who want to collect for Wii U for some reason. Okay, if you want to, that's cool. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think you know, it's, it's going to keep gonna value it, because like, people want to complete a whole set. Yeah, that's you know? exactly it. But does anyone really want to play it? Like, if there's, you have the option to get a Switch, wouldn't you just? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm. You know? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're probably just going to buy the Hello Kitty port to the Switch if they really want to play it and not yeah. play it on Wii U. The only people who are going to buy that are going to be the people who want to collect the Wii U. I mean, I'm getting a kiosk, so. I mean, that's fair. That's what's going to make me want to play it. Yeah. Which is sad. <laughs> you know, why why fill a big corner in one of your rooms just so, so you can stand up and play Wii U? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. For some reason, I just love kiosks. Like, shame me. I don't care. I think, if anything, kiosks are just going to keep their value and keep increasing in value. And Probably. Not that I collect to one day sell it off but you know if i ever need to i have that investment so i mean no never mind i'm not gonna say that because i don't want to jinx myself (laughs) so never mind i was gonna say if like the house caught on fire or something first thing i would get is the kiosk out (laughs) but it would be in that room it would happen in that room because you plug them all in the same (laughs) I keep them unplugged. They're all like plugged in on top of each other. Yeah, exactly. Like in the Christmas story when he's like <laughs> plugging the Christmas lights in on top of the, and there's sparks coming up. Yeah. That's what the yeah. kiosk room looks like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it will soon. I'll have four kiosks in there. Yikes, man. I know. That's crazy. I'm excited. I'm getting a original Xbox one, not Xbox one, but the original Xbox yeah. one. That's going to be cool. Kiosk. Um, I'm more excited for that. Really? Yeah, I like Xbox. I mean, I love it too. I'm trying to think like what games to play. Like Fusion Frenzy was like one of my favorite ones that I need to get. Halo. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. It doesn't really hold true. What do you mean it doesn't hold true? I don't know. Ha- you did you say Halo doesn't hold true? <laughs> yeah. What does that even <laughs> I'm mean? I'm sorry. Dude? What? <laughs> I don't understand. It's sort of like the whole 007 thing. Like, it's all right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like it. It's all right. We think that it's great because we have these nostalgic feels for oh, it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Back in the day, okay. but when you put it in, you're like, eh. Well, you're like, oh, this game's great. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> the so campaign graphi- was great. Graphically, but... it's not anywhere. Like, you're imagining these grand, illustrious graphics, but it's just like. Well, yeah, exactly. Even with, like, TV shows and movies. And that's and what stuff. you're thinking with, like, the. Yeah, but you can do, like, the, the two-player eye. campaign. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, the whole way through. Yeah. So yeah. fun. No, the campaign. Awesome. Do I really want to be standing up to play the campaign yes. the whole time? Dude, I don't want to stand up to play any games. <laughs> Beat Saber. Yeah. Actually, Tetris 99. <laughs> Stand <Nothing. up. laughs> standing up playing Tetris 99. Just like standing in the middle of a room, handheld mode. I actually want to go jogging while playing Tetris 99. That'll be the day. If you place 99th while jogging, I'm just going to jog you, to the I next was bridge. Say, how would you feel? <laughs> jog, <laughs> jog right on through. Jog right into traffic. Yeah, I'll just toss the switch into the into the water. <laughs> say I'm done gaming. Screw <laughs> this. So, Game Boy being your uh, favorite like system to collect for, how many Game Boy games are you at? <sighs> All right. Well, I have to pull up my collection app. And how do you? Uh, how do you store them or display them? Because I find Game Boy games being one of, it's the, horrendous. Yes. One of the hardest things um, to A, display, B, just put it on shelves. Like, they just go everywhere. There's, it's so hard to find the game that you want. One thing that I did see that's, like, a cool idea is to, like, put it in a binder with, like, baseball card slots, like Pokemon card, like, plastic sleeves that you put each game into a slot. I'm like, that's ingenious, but then it's in a binder. 
So as a gamer and collector, like we like to show off what we have, but really you can't when it comes to Game Boy games, I feel like, yeah. unless they're in the box. Yeah, it's hard um, to like store them, and that's something I actually struggled with for a little while. And then um, I got in uh, contact with uh, John Bella's Gamer Dad on Instagram. Shout out to you, man. What up? Shout out. Um, he is a super cool dude. He also collects a lot of Game Boy stuff, and he was doing a lot of inbox stuff, but his loose carts, he actually uh, gave me his secret recipe here, was put your loose cart in that little plastic Nintendo case. So all of my Game Boy carts are in the process of or have a little plastic case on it because I buy those like things. Like the Game Boy case? Yeah, like a okay. little plastic case. So I I buy those things. Like if you ever see any, just like hit me up because I am buying them all the time because I'm, I'm always running them. out. I'm using them. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, protect so, the carts. <sighs> um, so I, you put them in there, get a little label maker and put the label on the top side of it and then... I stack them uh, in a box. It's actually, I, I'm actually kind of miffed because I needed another one and I went to Target to buy the box that I get. It's a document storage box. Okay. It's like literally like three bucks or four bucks from Target. And they didn't have it. Like it, there was no spot on the shelf for it. So I'm like mildly in a panic. Are they discontinuing this nice clear box that fits the height of a Game Boy game? Oh, it's perfect. perfect. And you can fit like 70 games in a box or wow. something like that. It's like it's the most perfect system. It's got a little snap lid. It's beautiful. And I have about four or five of them right now that are like filled up and I need another one. And wow. Uh, so that's what, like 350 games? Um, let's see. I am currently at four. So listeners, I am actually going to a full um game boy set and a full game boy color set eventually i have no time limit because time is a construct created by man um so i have 194 wow i like that 194 <laughs> game boy Highway games tocal. <laughs> <laughs> um say that again how many 194 game boy wow. and then 132 game boy color wow so that's where I'm at on those. I have a couple I don't think I've logged yet. So it'll probably go up um, later when I do that. I did have a fair amount of Game Boy Advance 2 I was collecting, but I'm getting rid of a lot of those because I just got that flash cart from uh, True. Chris F75. Shout, shout out to you. Shout outs because that thing is clutch. Yeah. I love that because I love the Game Boy Advance games, but I just didn't want to invest the space on the games themselves and I to agree. have them all right there and ready to go has been it's so good so are you just collecting carts in or yes are you um there i have a little bit of cardboard like maybe four or five games there's only a couple things i would really want in box and those are like my all-time favorite games like when i collect i collect for nostalgia purposes um so, like, if I ever found a Pokemon Red Box for cheap, I would get it so I could yeah. complete my childhood copy. Absolutely. I have, uh, I found a, a silver box, so I have my copy of Silver for when I was a kid now complete. Like, that kind of stuff. I have my copy of Super Mario Land 2 now complete because I found a box cheap. Like, that kind of stuff I'll do, but I'm not really going to be for the cardboard for that because it's just going to be so much. Yeah. Oh, it's expensive. So why is cardboard more expensive than a video game half the fucking time? It pisses know, me man. off. Rarity. Supply and demand, dude. Yeah, no, it is rarity because just like we were saying earlier, we would throw away the boxes. People would throw them away, not thinking like that's something to hold on to. And when it comes to collecting, a lot of people will complete, you know, a whole set and then they're like, Well, now I want to complete a whole set with boxes and manuals and Yeah. And they have no money, and their wife leaves them and everything. And then they're 99th place in Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what happens <laughs> after that? <laughs> Bringing it back around. Ooh, I love it. Closing the closing the loop. Highway Tokel. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's how I always said your name. 
And I think it was like Tyler, like I'm glad that it took this long in like our actual real life friendship yeah. and internet friendship for you to tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta save it for the cast. <laughs> it all comes out here. Precisely honesty hour. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So you beat Kingdom Hearts this year. Have you beaten any other games this year? Um I have like as far as stuff that I haven't ever beaten before probably not I mean like I'd usually do like a yearly run through of Super Mario Land 2 (laughs) nice so I did that I beat that already this year that's super quick um pretty much those how long of a game is it I've actually never beat it Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy is like oh for the Game Boy it's just a little quickie yeah yeah I've beaten that yeah yeah, but I got that uh that repro card. I was not repro, but like yeah, a I flash guess re- card. yeah, mm, yeah. But yeah. the it was the repro from Fishy Face Games that they did. It was the uh, color port of it. Oh, cool. And I beat it on there because I I ordered it and got it, and then I was like, well, I gotta beat it on this now because I gotta beat it in color. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, so technically, that was my first game beat this year, and then Kingdom Hearts is pretty much my second, and. We'll see where we go from there. But I, I'm terrible with keeping track of like what I actually beat. So, so this year, I've been putting it in my notes. Yeah, this year I'm yeah I phone. have a note on my phone to like keep a track of like what I actually beat this year. So at the end of the year I can look back and be like, oh well, yeah. you bought all this shit, but then you only beat like three games. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's how I felt last year. I beat a few games last year. I don't know the number. Um but I felt like I played so many games and started so many games. And that's just one thing I want to do this year is complete these games that I've started or, you know, that I plan on starting, but I need to start taking notes on those to remind myself, what games did I start? You know, how far am I into this game? Like, can I complete it tomorrow or is it going to take another week or a month or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that. Yeah, so many, <laughs> so many games in the backlog that I've already started. And there's so many things that I've already just started and been like chunking my way through, but I'll get there eventually. Like, be like Tony, play one game at a time. You got that simplistic way. Like, I gotta what? Like one uh, game simple, at a time. Dude. Like one, g- focus all your energy. Simple. That's right. And then move on. Like I can't do that. I'm just like, well, I gotta be here yeah, no, and here. Bit. And I've got like seven systems. I gotta be on all of them. Yeah, <laughs> and I can't like sit and play video games for an hour. I have to like oh. play for hours. Like I mm-hmm. only He's play like when I can play for gamer. like yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get at least four hours in at a time. Okay. To feel like I respect satisfied. That That's I fair. I feel that like there are certain games I have to do that with. Like like I said, when I play during the week, I only play like those. Like I only play Overwatch during the week because. I can't sit down and invest more than an hour or two into it. Like yeah. if I try to play an open world game, I'll be sitting there for five hours and all of a sudden I'll have nothing done. And like, it's I'm like, Oh my God, <laughs> Yep. I didn't do this right at all. Yeah, exactly. So like, I get that. I, if I want to play like any game that I really want to really want to play, then I want that chunk of time to be available. I wish there was more hours in a day and more days in a week. Honestly. Time is a construct created by man. Tell me about it, but I still have to wake up at <laughs> six thirty in the morning every day to oh, get to work. Oh, like only six thirty. Yeah. Oh, look at you. What? I I have to get up earlier than that. What time? Five thirty. You Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he's gonna say this. Good. Right. Five thirty. Must hear it. be nice to sleep in. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I get up at four thirty. Oh, there we every go. day. There we go. And then what? To the gym. Yeah, and then I go Ooh. to the gym. I only live like a minute and a half away from my workplace, so. Must be nice. Yeah, anyway. It is nice. Let me, yeah. Let Got me a half an nice. hour commute. Yeah. yeah Yours I'm, is longer than my, that, right? Mine's longer than that. That's Ugh. why I listen to this podcast on my drive. This is a great podcast to listen to while driving. It is. It's More lighthearted like a, and fun. And there's also like slight notes of Bo wanting you to jump off of a bridge. And I take it back. I don't <laughs> yeah, he I doesn't mean that stuff. I guys. really don't mean that. 
just you know shout out to anyone that gets 99th place because so, you're doing something in life and i, I do want to meet you if you get 99th place yeah. in tetris i do want to meet you and i want to shake your hand i don't i do i don't <laughs> they're probably like children like oh. kids that have oh never the kids that are tetris. playing mario <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much it's a free game everyone there's no adult gets last place in tetris uh, the adults listening that got last place in Tetris are going to be up in the inbox. Like, listen here, sir. Yeah, <laughs> well, let him be. No. I'm not going to read it. I, I, I can't think too hard about what type of person it is that gets 99th place. Well, I hope, honestly, I hope it's someone that well, starts it, then, like, their phone rings in the other room. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, their dog spills something or, like, their kid is crying. What if you just like, like don't oh, realize shit, the game started? Yeah. Like, that's... like they're on their cell phone. Yeah. That's the 99th person. Someone that has to do something else. All right. But what if it's somebody who's in the year 2019 and has never played Tetris before? You're not a human. <laughs> You're not. You an could alien. still probably do better than 99th place because it's that easy. Is it that easy? What place did you get? What like was your... 76. Yeah. And I played okay. it one time. Is that dude? easy? That easy. No one even likes Tetris. Uh, 99 people do every freaking game. Here comes the hate mail. Do they like it, though? <laughs> You're killing them precisely. <laughs> yeah, I'm killing the podcast. So you were late today, and I called oh, you. <laughs> late for what, bro? For I'm our podcast. Not, I've never he been late. He was up at 4.30, though. And I called you, and I'm like, Tony, where are you? And you are like, I'm not coming. And I'm like, why? Like, what happened? I don't feel like it, like a little kid. And it, like, my whole heart sunk, Tony. I was just like, what did I do to upset him? I feel so bad. It really scared me. But in reality, you were, like, parking on the street. Yeah. (laughs) And you got duck donuts for my wife and I. Yeah. I'm just a jokester. And beer. So, thank you. Appreciate it, Tony. No problem. You know, I was late because I was getting donuts for you guys and beer for you guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. So, so, what are your future goals for gaming and collecting? Like, obviously, you said you want to get a full uh, library of the Game Boy games. Have you thought about the games that are so rare and so expensive, like Spud's Adventure? Yes. And, and how much is that game? I have also thought about how I'm going to cry when I'm paying for it. Um, It's like a $400 game, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. For so a Game Boy cartridge, just the cartridge. Just the little What's it about? You're a potato. potato. Which is also like like I have no idea what for it's me, about. The more ridiculous a game is, the more I'm like, Hell yes. Yeah, I need that's, that. That's yeah, and so for somebody to be like, Oh, you're a potato in this game, <laughs> I'm like, Yes, sign me up. And then they're like, Oh, that's four hundred dollars. Hold on, wait, what? Like yeah. <laughs> I'll take two. (laughs) Exactly. Um, Working. Chicken scratch. Working what I do does not uh, afford me to get two potato games. Um, And there are two potato games, aren't there? There are two potato games. Um, Spud's Adventure and. Amazing Tater. Yeah, Amazing Tater. I was going to say Spud's Adventure too, but I didn't think that was. Amazing Tater. Um, Those are Atlas games, right? We're going to start a Kickstarter to get you your potato games. Go fund me. That's not a Kickstarter. For potato (laughs) games. Go fund me. We're going to do one of those internet things where you donate money. (laughs) How do we even record this All right, and then we're going to play Sarah McLaughlin in the background and like have pictures Do of me looking really sad. In love after that love? is just not all your Sarah games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's, is not that's not, like Canadian. Not though. even close. But what does she say? The the one in the back of the SPCA in the arms commercials of an angel. Yeah. Uh, I like, sing it for me, Tony. In the arms of an angel. Oh yeah, God, beautiful. stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I will give you Spud's adventure. <laughs> Just stop. So, yeah. That uh that it's daunting for sure, but that's like I said, I have no time limit on this thing. Yeah. It's just like oh, I think it's I a great goal to have. Yeah. So that's and and the Game Boy Color set as well, like having the two of them conjunction because you have so many of those crossover like little black carts that could be played on both or like the Pokémon that can be played on both, like Yeah. It's 
it's cool and um I think it'll be a great library to have and, and once I start filling it out and I think I want to go and like you know have a game a day kind of thing like go through and play my library instead of just having the backlog consistently play like one game each day maybe an hour two hours whatever and then like do something with it like be it a blog vol- vlog or podcast or you know live stream or something of me going through each day for you know however long I have and giving my review each day of this game for how much I played like not beating the game but like getting yeah. a feel of it playing a couple hours and seeing where I like it or where I don't like it whatever I like that so that's something good luck with that yeah thank you I've actually seen um shout out to I believe it was Mez Moran probably pronouncing that wrong but uh he had like a door or it was just a wall that had like all Game Boy cartridges displayed on it, and it it was displayed so well that like each one like inserts into essentially like a plastic strip, so it stays there oh, even cool. though it's a door that's swinging open. So you take it out, but it has that clicking device, just like putting it into a Game Boy that it stays there perfectly. And I was like, that's ingenious, you know. But it's a whole wall. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd love to display them some way like that. Where I could also easy, easily access them to play because that's half the reason I'm storing them the way I'm storing because I can see yeah. on the top, oh, alphabetically also this is this title because the label maker label is on the top and I can see what it is instead of taking it out, flipping it over and being like, what's the artwork? Yeah. Because top labels weren't a thing. So what's your favorite Game Boy game? Let's go with original, original? Game Boy um, and then Game Boy Color and then we'll we'll say Advance. Ooh. Going for all three. Um, Trifecta. The original Game Boy, I think my favorite game would be Super Mario Land 2, Six okay. Golden Coins. That also is probably like my favorite Mario game. It's just so weird. Like, it's just so, there's no like, you know, world whatever, going to the castle, going to be Bowser. We're in a pumpkin. We're in yeah. like the under the sea. We're yeah. in the sky. Like we're fighting this dude who looks like Jason. Like wh- I don't know. Like <laughs> a little hockey mask. There is dude. a Jason guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little I hockey mask that. dude. Like it's just so. Uh, like I said, I just like weird things. So it's just so weird. And also that's one I played a lot as a kid. So very nostalgic. That has to be my favorite Game Boy game. It's a great game. So good. Mine um, would be uh, Link's Awakening. Good choice. Sure. Yeah. Good choice. With that coming up on the Switch, I'm sure you're stoked for that too. I am, and I'm not. Like, I hope it has a lot of... I hope it has more than what the Game Boy game has to offer because it's a great Game Boy game. But on the Switch, I feel like it's going to feel a little empty and a little blah. I hope they expand that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Some quests and things like that. Tony, you got any? Favorite Game Boy games? Yeah. Pretty much just every Pokemon game. Yeah. Well, minus like the new ones I haven't really played. But huge Pokemon fan. Yeah. Still play those. I mean, Pokemon Blue or Yellow would be the runner up for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Red, Blue, Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Those are definitely my favorite uh, Game Boy Color. And then, I don't know. Game Boy Advance, pretty much the same Pokemon stuff. You're just Pokemon all around. Yeah, I don't really remember what, like, Kirby was good. I remember that. I don't remember it. Kirby was great for the original Game Boy. That was one of the Mario, first games of I course. played. Yeah. Yeah. So, Game Boy Color, can I guess? Go for it. Donkey Kong Country. That's mine, yep. <laughs> um, it, that port to the Game Boy Color was, like, something I just sunk a bunch of time into as a kid. I didn't have a SNES, so... I never played it on there. That was the first way that I played it. And I just, like, love that game. And that thing went everywhere I went. Like, I always had that game. And I always had Pokemon Red with me in my little fanny pack. Hell, yeah. And just rocking that all the way. Hell, yeah. (laughs) And you actually sold me a, a copy of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. And I enjoyed it. But, man, the buttons are wonky on it. A little bit like 
jumping. It doesn't, like, react all the time. Like, I don't know. Maybe you sold me, like, a fucked up cartridge, but it's all right. <laughs> Here we are. Call wow. me out again. Oh, oh okay. All I'm right. I'll leave you some bad Instagram feedback. <laughs> Highway Tokel. He's going to go on eBay. Going to yeah. give you negative reviews. I'm going to find it. <laughs> well, man, like, let me know. I'll fix it up. I'll do what I can. All right. All right. I'd make it right. So Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. That's that's a hard there's one. There's so many yes. good ones. There's all there's a lot, a lot on the system, and then there's just like that's also I didn't play a lot of Advance because I never had an Advance as a kid. I had the color. Oh really? And that was it. Like so, my parents. I were had like, a see through purple Advance as well. Yeah, my parents were like, "Oh, video games? No, thank you." So shout out to you, mom and dad. Look what happened. Um, <laughs> same with my parents. Honestly, I think that's why I'm such a like uh, collector of them and love them because my parents like really weren't big into like buying me games and yeah. I never got an allowance. Yep. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Agreed. I, I got, I, I would get paid for mowing the grass, Yeah. but that always went to like skateboarding and other stuff that I shredding the gnar. Shredding the gnar, mainly hitting my <laughs> face on half pipes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're looking for Bose Underground, or Bros, uh, Bose Pro Skater 2. Bose, oh, God. Bose Pro Skater 3. Just Look for those coming out in the fall. <laughs> I was actually really good at manually, which yeah, I guess Yeah, have a little hard. bit of balance for that. Yeah, yeah. So, but could I that. lift off the ground? No. Nah. No. No. Nah. Sorry, I got a couple good ollies. You know, back in the day. Probably now, not so much. So, Game Boy Advance for me, I'm looking, like, at the wall right now of, like, some complete ones that I have. And honestly, like, Yoshi's Island was amazing for Game Boy Advance. I think that was one of the better ports. I think it's better than the SNES version, personally. Um, It helped with, like, the throwing an egg and stuff. Like, the controls for that were a lot easier. I felt like Drill Dozer. Is that the right game, Drill Dozer? Have you played that one? I have not played that one, but I guarantee you it's on my EverDrive, and I will look it up later because I have not gone through all of them. So it's an amazing game, beautiful graphics. Um, it's a side scroller, but it also featured a Rumble Pack in the cartridge. Oh yeah, so, there we go. Yeah, very cool. Um, I mean, Nintendo's always had those weird things. Like, do you remember Kirby's like Tilt and Whirl? Yes, yes, Tilt and Tumble. Yes, Tilt and Tumble. Yeah. Yes. That's so a this great was. Game. Uh, they had like a gyromite or something. I don't know what you call it. A gyro. Gyroscope. Gyroscope inside the cartridge. So when you rotated the Game Boy, yeah, it actually it. moved. Yeah, it was like, a pink Kirby cartridge. around. Yeah. 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 Uh. Wario, WarioWare, was it? Or Wario WackyWare? Or what, for what? Game Boy Advance. Wario Land? No, the big no. cartridge oh. where it was uh, like fast-paced, like two-second games. Yeah, yeah, you're right. WarioWare. Yeah, love that game. Super fun. Easy to pick up and put down. Um, Yeah, Pokemon games are great, too, for the Advance. Some really good titles. I mean... Yeah, I just I I love Game Boy too. I just don't know how to display them. Yeah, it's a difficult thing to display. I'd yeah. love to get the games in a better situation, like once I have more space for it. But where they are at now is practical and like space wise, it doesn't take up that much. It's just a little shelf in my closet. Yeah. Um, another thing that people are literally always asking me <laughs> and i feel like i just sit and repeat myself which is cool is like how i display my actual game boy systems that which is beautiful i mean it's top shelf it's they're all displayed upright i like so Tell i don't us. i don't have enough space to put all of them out oh. so i have my dmgs my pockets and i have my colors out in roy g biv Oh, yeah. Shout out to Roy G. Biv. Um, got them all <laughs> down the line. And then I put my like exclusive colors intermix there at the end or whatever. So it makes it look appealing to the eye as well. Um, 
So I have them lined up starting with my pockets down to my colors. And then I have the DMGs, like the play it louds and stuff that I have. And then I have one uh, box for the original nice. and uh, a power glove on the top of my shelf. But I don't have any more space to lay out my advances or anything. So what I have them all sitting on is, except for one, I have a custom uh, Game Boy Color. Um, I got it from uh, Retro Gaming Now. It's a uh, Game Boy Horror. If you played I've Luigi's Mansion, yeah. yeah. If you played Luigi's Mansion, it was the little Game Boy that he had in there that he could like call up, and it was you know basically like your menu and your map and all that other stuff. And I always, when I played it, I was like, man, Nintendo, come on, like let's have this come out. I would really love one of these. And they never. Really I didn't did realize it. it came from that. Yeah. So I always wanted one, and a couple of years ago, I was just like, you know what? I want a backlit uh, Game Boy Color, and oh, you I contact have a backlit Game Boy Color. Yeah, it's backlit. That was so, pricey. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. How much? Like it was. I don't remember. <laughs> Over one hundred fifty. It was probably about. It was probably about one hundred fifty because. Oh, I want a backlit Game Boy Color. Now. It's nice. So it, it's a cus- It's just a clear shell with black buttons it has the face plate and then it says game boy and where instead where it says color it says horror Dope. and then it has the backlit and yeah, i cool. have that like i said it's from retro gaming now they did an awesome job so if you have any game boy mods i recommend them okay um we also have we both have the the game boy advance we both have the lit backlit or er, yeah screen mod game boy advance we both got you got yours from johnny right yeah, wonderful. Johnny's merchandise. We bought, got I have the, a few. Yeah, so that's not, those are my two modded ones that I have, which is super cool. I'd love to get a modded. It, it's DMG. the best way to play Game Boy games. It's personally. so nice. I that, mean, it's so crisp and like. I can't go back. To I was playing the on the SP screen. and it was so cramped, and then I was playing on that one, and I was like, I have so much space to move. Yep. But um, yeah. So my my Game Boy Horror is like. It's like my little baby. It's so it's so good. But I have it now sitting. I just got it a couple weeks ago on a stand from, um, oh, man. Rose Color Gaming. Yeah, Rose Color Gaming. There it is. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> hey, that's why hey. I'm here. Yep, thanks. I know um, how to say your name, right, Rose Colored Gaming? Yeah. So Rose, Rose Color Gaming actually has a stand that says Game Boy Horror on it. Oh, dope. And so I bought that one, and they just put it just put together, and it sits right on there. It's a nice little black stand, and I'd love to get an individual stand for every single Game Boy, eventually. But right now, I don't have the cash money to blow on it. So I go to Michaels, and I go <laughs> I go to the picture frame section, and I go pull off those little plastic. They look like a little like L, and you fold it out. Yeah. And that's what it is, and they all just sit on a little clear plastic like two or three dollar picture frame stand nice. from michael's so it's super cheap and they fold out they have the small ones which fit the pocket and the color that i have to get the next size up for the dmgs but they all fit real nice and they don't like as long as they're not like they, they stay in one spot like they don't yeah move out like you can adjust it but once you sit the game boy on there it doesn't move because it's a picture frame stand so like, it's not going to just, like, all of a sudden, whoop, and the Game Boy falls, so. I need more shelf space. That's my problem. I feel like that's a everybody problem all the time. Not Tony's. Not Tony. Why? Because you got shelf space. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I see it when I come over. He's going yeah, to come anything. over and take that space. I have, like, a PS3, Literally, PS4, and a Switch. I have, yeah. The, two Game Boys. The PS3 is mine. <laughs> There's, like, he has, like, 20 games there, and, like, 10 of them are mine. I, I have, like, 10 games of, like, he's four gonna, of years. He's going to come in, and he's going to take a little toothpick flag, and he's going to stick it on your shelf, and he's going to claim it there. for his Yeah, own. it's already there. <laughs> the Every week, he's like, oh, can I keep a uh, stand at your house? What is it? A, a kiosk? A kiosk. He's like, <laughs> you know no, what I'll... you need? A kiosk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to force his ways upon you. Yeah. Yeah. That's Why fun. not? If you leave here today and you're like, oh, man, you know what? I really want to buy some Game Boys. I feel like I'll have done my job. But. <laughs> yeah. I have t- I have an SP and a Game Boy Color. So. Oh, that's good. Or enough. no, I have a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Game Boy Advance. And then Advance. a Game Boy SP. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing good. That's fine. That's, that's totally cool. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit 
just topics, some random stuff, you know, video game related or non video game related. But I got one. What's okay. the worst movie you have seen in the theaters? Like, like worst, like bad. most disappointing like, terrible. movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. And I don't know. So yeah. mine would be George of the Jungle. Hated oh. it. My aunt and uncle see like every movie and every whenever it's released, and they were raving about this when I was younger. Janine, Aunt Janine. Yeah, shout out to Aunt Janine and Uncle Bob. Yeah. Um, they're huge Disney fanatics. They go to Disney World at least like three times a year, and uh, either way, they were like, "You guys need to see George of the Jungle. It's the greatest movie out." And my whole family went. <laughs> And we were just like, why are we here? This is so dumb. But, you know, probably if I saw it at my house, it would have been all right. You know, but seeing it in theaters, no. Yeah, I never saw that, George of the Jungle. Don't. What? Well, I read the books. Right? That's curious, George. George, (laughs) George, George. George, George, Okay, all right, all right. So we've got George of the Jungle coming through with a yellow hat and like. (laughs) Yeah. Which one's Making some mischief. Oh, he's. uh, He's. Like Tarzan, but. Yeah, but it's not. What was it? Uh, Who played him? The guy that was from uh, Bicentennial Man. Yep. Yeah. Him. What? Bicentennial Man? Encino Man? Encino Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that guy. Yeah. I can't forget. I'm (laughs) forgetting his name. Bicentennial (laughs) Man. (laughs) <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Any for you, Kelly? Um, I'm really notoriously terrible with seeing movies in theaters. I always wait until they come out and then I get them at my house and or I like before I would just get them on like DVD or rental. Yeah. Um I'm trying to remember cuz like as of late all of the movies that I see in theaters, I make sure that I want to. Yeah, absolutely. Because Man, it's so do expensive. you still see movies at in theaters? Oh yeah, I okay. I mean, I go to the Star Wars. I go to the releases. For yeah, that, for sure. Um, I remember being like, I don't remember what, um, Pirates of the Caribbean it was, but I remember like going to watch one of them like after the first one one of those like and i was just like this is not as good as i thought it was yeah. gonna be i mean the first one was great yeah the first one was fantastic i just remember like being in like i don't know it's like high school or something and i was like on a date and i was like this is awful like <laughs> this is not yeah. that great like i wanted captain jack to be like yeah let's you know do stuff and then pirate stuff he was not it was like more focused on everything else and i was like ah. and i don't even remember which one it was like that's how much i i didn't care apparently <laughs> how many are there like three or four it's four, gotta be probably. like four probably yeah. Yeah. yeah i think the third and fourth one sucked from yeah what that's I can probably recall. what yeah. it was i don't one know we could live without them it's fine that's probably mine because that's all i can remember right now johnny depp is the 99th player that gets out Ooh. he might be i think so how Shout out to you, Johnny Depp. No, no shout out. Whoa. Take yeah, that shout, shout out. out back. Johnny Depp's right. Shout out to the 99th player <laughs> that gets out in Tetris 99. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should make sure it's of that. That sounds I would fun. buy one. Yeah. I am the 99th Tetris player. <laughs> like. Yeah. I am the first one to be out. <laughs> you can thank me for making your day better. Any uh, topics for you, Tony? Yeah. What uh, crime could you see me committing? And then we'll go through this for everyone. Wow. For, so both of you pick a crime that you think I would do right mm. now, tonight, after I leave here. Right what am I going to go like do? Like right here, right now. Oh. Peeing outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I feel like this is like a loaded question because you like know him way better than I do. Yeah. Well, just look at him. <gasps> well, I was going to say the same exact thing for you. Oh, <laughs> you really? would definitely get caught peeing outside before I did. Yeah, I did all the time. Yeah, but you would get in trouble for it before I did. All right. <laughs> Knock on wood. I feel like you would do it by a school. Wow, Ooh. why? I don't know. I just feel like you'd Every time I drive by a school, to be on the I'm list. like, oh, I need to pee. Because you can't be- really read that well, and you might think it's another kind of building. 
Skull? Skull? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a good spot. Yeah. This is fine. Um, I don't know. You'd probably go out and like, you know, punch a kangaroo or something in the I street. You go I'd probably be pretty scared, but maybe. Go punch something. I don't know. That's what I got. Is that a crime to punch things? Like assault. Do I seem that angry? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Probably with me, but I wouldn't call the cops on them because I ain't no snitch. I don't know. Yeah. That's all I got. Snitches get stitches. Well, <laughs> I could see you uh, getting in trouble for, like, racing. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think you might do some road rage stuff. I am actually a really nice driver. My wife, though, on the other hand, road rage all the way. I would love to see her as an Uber driver because she would get one stars all the time (laughs) because she curses, like, a trucker or a pirate. That's fair. Yeah. Or a sailor is the common phrase that people use. Trucker, pirate, sailor. Okay. I mean, a pirate is a sailor. A pirate, sailor, trucker. Yeah. yeah. All of the above. Yeah. The worst of all the worlds. Uh, Kelly, I could see you robbing someone for a potato video game. Ooh, yeah, that, yeah, that would yeah. absolutely. Probably yep. with like a not that sharp knife, though. Yeah. A butter knife. Yeah, just like a butter knife. Just taken out of both. Well, drawer. like a little sharp. A like a doll steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, just so you know. I don't have the potato game, <laughs> but if I did, I still don't have it. I would take one of those little. Give me, give me a little credit. Have one of those like switchblade combs, yeah, but think go. it was a knife. That Ooh. would be what it would be. Or else, I think that you would probably like get in trouble for defending someone that's helpless. I feel like you really. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be. Yeah. That would probably be more accurate. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I don't know. What do you think Bo would do? Hmm. Get in trouble for looking too sexy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stunting on these ninety niners. <laughs> he would he would get in trouble for uh coercing somebody to jump off of a bridge Damn, after playing no. Tetris ninety nine. I didn't really mean it though. Yeah. I didn't think you were gonna do it. Well, I mean how can that guy tell on me? If he jumped off of a bridge. Well, there there's always witnesses. Yeah. Uh, always. Always. They're watching us. Always. That guy, the FBI guy who's always watching you. Mm-hmm. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Well, I want to shout out another podcast. So if you listen to this whole podcast and you like other gaming podcasts, I want to shout out Pixie Gaming Podcast. P-I-X-I Gaming Podcast. They had a great episode that I listened to the other day about Horizon Zero Dawn. They're from the UK, so I love the accent that the main speaker has. Um, But he was just talking about how amazing and how beautiful Horizon Zero Dawn was. And it's a game that I loved and like watching trailers. I would show these trailers of the game to a bunch of friends being like, I can't wait for this game. And I bought it like close to release date. I didn't, like, pre-order it or anything, but bought it, and it was during the same time that I bought Breath of the Wild, or I was playing Breath of the Wild, and I literally could not play it because I was so used to a Switch controller, and I wanted to finish Breath of the Wild. So it's one game that, especially after listening to his podcast, I was like, I need to turn this back on and play this through. And it's another game that, like, I want you to play, Tony, as well, because it's on the similar vein of, like, God of War, or Assassin's Creed, like, that type of right. video game. Um, but, yeah, Pixie Gaming Podcast, shout out to you and give them a listen when you get the chance. Really cool guys. Um, one's from the U.K., and I believe another one's from the U.S.A., but good dynamic, good people, and... Thanks for getting me reinterested in Horizon Zero Dawn because I definitely want to play that again. Have you ever played that, Kelly? I have not, but I have heard some amazing things. Yeah, graphically it's so beautiful, but the PS4 controller at the time felt so foreign in my hands. I was just like, I can't do this right now. Like I was like in your boat, Tony, where I could only play one game, and that one game was Breath uh, of the yeah. Wild. Breath of the Wild yeah. consumed my life. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Any uh, last remarks, guys? Nah, I don't know. The beer's good. Thanks for getting us. Yeah, thank you, Ian. 
the the spear is great. Yeah, this is fantastic. It's been fun. Yeah, thank you, Kelly, for being on. Yes, we, thank we you. We hope to have you back here soon. I would love to be back. It's been a lot of fun. Give her a follow at Highway Toke L. <laughs> Highway to Kel. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a follow at precisely underscore Bo. Is yeah. that how you say it? Bew? Or uh, Bo's underscore game room. And gamma, gamma, gamma room. room. Gamma rom. <laughs> and uh, Tony's at uh, precisely underscore Tony. Correct. Make sure you absolutely type out underscore in all of these. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Precisely. We out.